Seasons are not caused by the distance to the sun. If anyone ever tells you that we have summer here on Earth because during that time we are closer to the sun in our orbit, then tell them to be quiet and listen. For starters, whilst it's summer up here in the Northern Hemisphere, down in the Southern Hemisphere, they're experiencing winter. Now, that isn't to say that the Earth distance to the sun is constant all year round we have an elliptical orbit, much like the other planets in the solar system. In fact, during the Northern Hemisphere winter, the Earth will actually make its closest pass to the Sun. In early January, the orbital distance to the Sun is 147.1 million kilometers. We call this point the perihelion. By the time we reach our furthest point from the Sun in our orbit, we are a further 5 million kilometers away. This is the aperion and this is actually in early July when here in the northern hemisphere we're bang in the middle of summer. The main reason for the seasons here on earth is the axial tilt of 23.4 degrees. This means that the northern hemisphere tilts towards the sun in the summer and away from the sun in the winter and vice versa in the southern hemisphere. This tilt means that during the summer months in the hemisphere in question they will receive more solar radiation and longer days than that of the days in the winter. If you live on or near the equator though, which is pretty much receiving sun all year round, you only get two seasons, wet and dry. So next time you hear someone claiming that the distance to the sun is the reason for our seasons here on earth, then you can put them in their place with ease. I've been Simon Dan, this has been a Misconception Mini, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe here, definitely click that one. 100% click that one uh, and then more videos there De I mean click that one as well if you want I mean they're there so you may as well click them uh, that one's quite good but you know equally that one too